Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, it's the day of the fight. It's going to go off in a few hours. Chris Eubank Jr. versus George Groves. Let me be as clear as I can be. I think Groves is a live underdog. The bet I've recommended here previously is to take Groves the underdog. You're getting better than even money on the Groves side of the play. Right now, the line I'm seeing is a plus 140 on Groves simply to win. And you want to hedge that play with Chris Eubank by KO. Right now, you're getting a plus 160 on Chris Eubank by KO. Right? So understand, you're getting better than even money on both sides of the play if either happens, you make a profit. You're not going to be able to put a kid through college with the profit you make, but at the same time, you make a profit. This video is intended for gamblers who don't have to win money every bet. In other words, for the gambler who is trying to take chances and who's willing to go forward with an imperfect hedge, right? That might lose money if the plan A does not work. I want you to consider the following because this bet is on the board, right? Instead of hedging George Groves, who I personally feel wins the fight, instead of hedging George Groves to win with, Chris Eubank by KO. Why don't we play around with this a little bit and try to set it up so that if George Groves wins by KO, you win on both halves of the play. So, okay, my daughter's now in the room. Hold on, hold on. Uh, so, instead of the Chris Eubank by KO hedge, if you're into imperfect hedges... Why not consider the under ten and a half rounds? That's right, ten and a half. The midway point of the eleventh round. I'll be in a second, honey. Right at a minus one twenty. In other words, you have Groves to win. Then you have an imperfect hedge that pays a little bit less than even money. Right, the under ten and a half rounds at a minus one twenty. Right. If Groves gets the stoppage, which I consider to be a distinct possibility, in the first ten and a half rounds of this fight, before the halfway point of the 11th round, you get a windfall. You win on both sides of the play. Right? If Eubank gets a stoppage in the first ten and a half rounds of this fight, again, before the midway point of the 11th round, then understand you're hedged, but you lose money. You don't quite make back as much as you bet on the George Grove side of the play, but at the same time, you don't lose as much as you would have lost if you just placed the bet on George Grove's. If you're someone willing to lose money and your play here is really on an underdog, George Groves, who you think is going to win the fight, and you just want to limit your downside risk, then I hope you consider George Groves to win hedged with the under 10 and a half rounds. Understand you're doing well. You're, you're, you're doing well with Groves to win, hedged by Eubank by KO. Right? The bet I proposed earlier, that's fine. But if you're a gambler who wants to swing for the fences a little bit more, then the George Groves to win, hedged with the under 10.5 at a minus 120, gives you a chance to win both halves of the bet, bigger profits, if Groves closes the show before the midway point of the 11th round, right? Think it through, enjoy the fight. Just understand if I had one bet to make, just one, if I just had to pick a winner, 
I like George Groves, right? Also, I need for everyone here to understand the risk involved under both hedges. Groves to win, hedged with Eubank by KO. Or Groves to win, hedged with the under 10 and a half rounds. Right? Just understand that you lose it all if Chris Eubank wins a decision. Or if Chris Eubank wins by stoppage in the last round and a half of the fight. That's the risk I'm willing to take. Let me hear from you. Should be a great fight. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.